Okay, so today I want to be talking a little bit about uh, looking at a horse in 360 degrees. And what I mean here is um, when we look at a horse, we tend to look at it from one flat angle. And that causes us a whole load of problems with analysis because we're only seeing one picture of it. And we do this most often with ratings or with past form. So when you open a, a racing post or you go to the Racing Post website, for example, you're going to open the paper and most people go to the horse's most recent form first. And you've got kind of some uh, some finish positions in there. And um, and these finished positions, it might have had a couple of good races, a bad race, a, a race where it got pulled up, and then another good race, and a break in season, and something like that. And, and people use this as the primary focus as to whether the horse is going to run well today. But actually what we're doing is we're essentially looking at this horse by doing that from a single angle. It's like we're looking at the horse just from behind. The way I like to visualize this is that each piece of information we use just has one angle of the horse. So let's say um, the most recent finish position just shows the front of the horse. So what can we see when we look at the front of the horse? We can see its head, its eyes, its face, uh, and maybe kind of um, some of its front legs and a little bit of the body kind of around the front of the horse. But then we might go to the back of the horse and we might see that at the back of it, it's got a problem with one of its knees, but you can't see that from the front. And then if we look at it from the side, it might look great. We look at it from the other side, you, you might see there's a little scar there from an operation, which you haven't seen from any of these other angles. And obviously that's going to affect the horse's performance. So when we look at a horse, we want to be looking at a horse from 360 degrees. And we can use ratings to show how we do this. So we can use a rating. So we may look at the horse's form with a form rating. And that shows us how it's performed just based on its own form. Let's say that looks at the horse from one side. But then we look at a rating with collateral form. That tells us how this horse has performed against other horses in this race. Has it raced against any of them before? And how did it perform against it? Now that maybe gives us a little bit of the, the, the side from the bottom angle and from the top angle. So we start to now get a little bit more of a 3D picture. Then we look at recent finish positions and maybe that gives us the front of the horse and we combine that with speed. And that gives us kind of the front of the horse plus maybe a couple of those angles as well, kind of a slightly lower angle and a slightly higher angle from the front of the horse. So now we've kind of got two sides of the horse and the front, and we've used maybe two or, or three ratings by doing that. Next, we maybe use some class ratings, and that takes us round to the other side of the horse. And that class information tells us how it's going to race with other runners. How's it likely to perform? And that gives us that, that side of the horse, the second side of the horse. Now we're starting to build a picture. We've still got some blanks in between these sides. We're missing the back. We're missing kind of the top and underneath and maybe a, a little bit round towards the front as well. So now we start looking at whether the horse likes ground conditions, course conditions, race conditions. And this information starts to fill in those little gaps. And there is no one size fits all here. There is no winner or loser. What we have is a horse, we have an animal, and we need to see this animal in all of its glory. We need to see it from all of its side. We need to see its good points and its bad points. We need to see where it excels or where it fails. And all of this gives us a picture of how that horse is likely to perform. And it's a 3D picture. It's like one of those car things where you can kind of scroll around it and up and down and move and see all sides and angles of it. We want to see all the little knocks, the little nicks, the little scars, um, what works well with it, what doesn't work well with it. We want all of these little pieces of information. What that does, that creates us a picture of the horse. And with that picture, with that picture, we can now start to actually decide whether the horse has a chance in winning the race or contending in the race. Has the horse got a chance of being at the front when this race finishes? Or actually, is it now starting to look unlikely? When you do that with more than one horse in a race, that picture becomes clearer because now you can see two of the horses in the race in that same detail. When you do it with three horses in the race, it becomes clearer again. Ideally, you're going to want to do that with every horse in the race, but there are time restrictions here, which is why we use techniques such as foundational strategies to strip back to the strongest horses in the race. So we only need to spend this time on the horses that are most likely to be the strongest in the race. That's why we can use the market. Maybe a horse with odds of higher than 29 to 1, we can get rid of because the market is 
telling us already that there isn't a huge amount of information, but the ones that are left, the contenders that are left, this is what we want to do. We want to build this, this 360 degree picture of this horse, how it's likely to perform, um, whether it's likely to perform well, what conditions it likes to perform under. And if we've got more than one contender in the race, which is most often, we want to do it with all of them because then we can really start to see these horses for the animals that they are and how they're likely to perform in the race. And when we know that, then we can decide if the odds look like they're giving us enough value to make it worthwhile betting on. And that ultimately is where we want to be because we want to be making sure that we are getting value in the odds. And we don't know whether the odds are going to be high enough until we know well, what kind of risk is associated with the horse. So always, always look at the horse from multiple angles. And in terms of ratings, you're going to need somewhere between three and six ratings to be able to do that effectively. You do not need hundreds and hundreds of ratings on a single card. You only need somewhere between three and six and you definitely need no more than 10 to do that. And you can use different ratings and look at it in different ways and that's perfectly possible. But choose three to six ratings that cover the whole spectrum. A couple of form, a couple of speed, a couple of class, a couple of connections such as trainer and jockey ratings and information like that. Just choose a few of each and then look at them to build up this entire 360 degree picture that will allow you to assess the horse as the animal, see it from all sides, see where it excels, see where it fails. There is no good, there is no bad, there is just the entire picture of the runner and the risk that it is likely to give you if you bet on it. And then you can assess whether the odds you're getting are suitable for the risk. It is that simple. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Race Advisors YouTube channel, please do hit the button below this video and subscribe. You will see a little bell notification afterwards. Hit the bell to make sure you get notified of any other videos that we upload. And in the meantime, please do share this video and hit the like button as well. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.